good evening ito yung ating video nito uh, multiple sensors for hydroponics with GSM so this will be a two part video ang first part will be the presenting the hardware and the calibration ng sensor uh, the second will be the GSM features or if I could I will be insert I'll be combining it one uh, in single uh, video so first is uh, the introduction of system so <clears throat> this system is supposed to be powered by solar 12 volts so for now uh, I will use a single 12 volt supply which will in turn will be using a five a, a back boost converter so the 12 volts here will be converted to 5 volts to power up this GSM sim 800A second the 12 volts here will be used to, I will be stepped down by this another back boost converter to approximately 7.6 volts to be used by the Arduino so uh, I think better is to have a voltage of approximately 7 than having higher voltage or inserting 12 volts here to prevent the regulator to get hot uh, as, as we use this device for a extensive extensively long time so we have this LCD module Okay, this is 20 by 4 with I2C, so this this is this will display the readings of our uh, device. We have this uh, RTC. RTC is for data logging. This is the real time clock for the uh, automatic update of clock. Even the device is turned off, uh, you can see the RTC has a CMOS battery to continue updating the time even though naka turn off ang ating system. So we have this SD card module, micro SD module as you can see and dito yung micro SD sa loob. Okay. So this micro SD module will be used to uh, save data every uh, turn. So, so approximately every 5 seconds data is being saved. So that's a good thing to do for hydroponics. And we have this GSM for the SMS features of the device. So there's your, uh, this is the SIM 800A. Uh, as for my experience, will be one of the best GSM modules, uh, including shields, na na experience kong gamitin. Uh, it has this mic and speaker ports, in which in turn that you can just call this device and you can have a speaker here so that you can speak to this device or anyone near the device so that's your sim card so we have C arduino mega 2560r3 uh, it's because the code is quite long and uh, uh, the memory is quite global variable memory is quite high so you need arduino mega and i use this arduino mega sensor shield to make the device look cooler let's say cooler as uh, cleaner it will look clean with this no external uh, 5 volts uh, connection so we have this easy sensor this is sensor is a, a very good sensor for hydroponics it's very sensitive At the same time so it is uh, here's the data sheet the name is e 1103 v one so it's a 5 volts logic device that outputs from 0 to 5 uh, the range is from 0 to 5,000 micro S per, per cm, so therefore uh, you can measure from 0 to 5,000, but this is in micro S, so therefore this is quite very, very sensitive when you are, uh, when you are in terms of measuring uh, electrical conductivity of liquids. So you have unit error approximately positive negative 2%, Oh, so that's quite a low value error. This can be used for industrial purposes, and the it's a uh, probe the probe is designed to be used uh, every day as uh, and leave it there just leave it there so that's the advantage of the sensor so here it is it's actually very straightforward from uh, 0 or 1 volt to 5 volts it just give you from 1000 to 5000 micro s per second so uh, very good sensor so we have this uh, ultrasonic for water level Okay, uh, still a very good sensor. Uh, it's a waterproof, so of course it will be great because you just get out, uh, let this 
part of the device or the sensor out and then the processor or the chip of the sensor will be staying inside the case so very good for industrial purpose there's a problem with this uh, sensor which you can also find on the internet is that the minimum range or the minimum value that it can give out is only 20 centimeter so but for water level measurement uh, there will be the trick to use the sensor is to place the sensor inside the stand let's say 40 centimeter above the river or 40 centimeter at the maximum length uh, maximum height of water so therefore <coughs> um, as the water rises the reading will be lower okay but in your code you just need to map that one to do this the opposite that if your reading is getting lower the, therefore in, in reality the water level must be getting higher so that's that's it lastly we have this temperature sensor to measure temperature of liquid this is the uh, dsb uh, the ds18b20 so if i'm not mistaken that's the correct name so i guess that's all for the hardware so i think i'll be combining this one into a single video so again i will power this up with a single 12 volts dc power supply but being stepped down by these two so if you want to power this up with your solar what you need to do is just cut this cord here okay putulin nyo lang itong cord after nyo test then meron kang makitang di makitang wires dito na color red at saka color black i think so the color red is the positive color black is the negative so pwede mong ikabit yun sa 12 volts battery ng yung solar so for now i'll just this up okay, uh, i think okay sorry hindi nakasaksak maayos yung cord so start is will be initializing device by the way ito yung ating admin admin cell phone which controls the device but remember okay this is a it has so in nag text siya, hydroponic system ready and then lalabas yung ating readings okay we have the smart hydroponic easy reading we have the h2o level and we have the h2o temperature okay although this is not uh, measuring h2o but Let's start first with the sensor. Okay, sensors, the calibration of sensors. First, this is the temperature sensor. So, ang reading niya dyan is 27.3 degrees Celsius. So, what I'll do is, hawakan ko siya para tumaas yung reading. So, let's watch. Habang yung reading is slowly getting up. So, naging 29. So, yung naging 30. Okay. So, naging 31. That's because the temperature is getting hot. As I am rubbing this uh lead ng ating sensor okay so if i place it inside the water okay lalagyan ko siya dito sa loob ng tubig so naturally ang reading niya must be going down okay so naging 27.8 okay actually baba pa yan ang bababa okay so 27 okay 26 so lalabas ko na siya dun sa baso so that's it for the temperature sensor. Now we go to this second one. This is the ultrasonic. So ang reading niya daw dyan is 24 cm. Okay, layo niya mapunta doon sa end. Okay, so ang gagawin ko is ilalayo ko pa siya ng konti. Okay, so from 24, naging 30 cm siya. Ilalayo ko siya ng konti. Uh, the advantage of this sensor to the normal ultrasonic because... Uh, bakit nagkaroon siya ng, uh, the, the greatest advantage of this sensor is ang maximum range niya is 4.5 meters so remember you can actually measure the range up to 4.5 meters so pwede mo siyang ilagay sa taas ng poste na, na nasa river and then kung tumataas yung river syempre bumaba yung reading niya so uh, very versatile one okay. so naging 30 daw siya 30 cm so ilapit ko siya doon konti doon Okay, and then check natin yung reading. So, naging 25. Layo ko na naman ng konti. Okay, so, naging 29. So, again, uh, great sensor. The uh, only problem is if you place the sensor very close to the target. Okay, 
in which we will not do in the actual application since we will place this in a, a very high post no? so pag ilagay mo daw siya sa may malapit talaga sa target okay the reading is not blind reading yung tawag niya dito so nakita mo naging 79 so this is what so called the blind reading ng ating sensor so ang minimum sa kanyang blind reading is 20 cm so pag more than 20 cm accurate talaga siya so 28 cm okay tapos pag ilayo ko pa yan ng konti 32 cm so it's very accurate in the reading as long as the reading is more than 20 cm in which we can just do that in a practical way so kung ito yung river just place a post ilagay ka ng post dito ilagay mo siya sa taas in such way na yung river will not reach 20 cm ma hindi siya makakaabot ng 20 cm dito sa sensor na to so kailangan mataas lang yung post mo okay. <clears throat> lastly we have this one so ang reading niya ngayon is 43 micro s per cm u yung u doon is actually micro so hindi na kasi magkasya sa ating lcd kung ilalagay ko yung buong word na micro so that's the water kasi hindi naman talaga yun siya purely distilled so we have this for calibration we have the 1413 micro s per cm na conductivity solution so ang gagawin ko is bubuksan ko to siya and then ilalagay ko dito yung sensor by the way this is 1413 at 25 degrees Celsius. Okay? So, remember, depende pa yun sa temperature. Okay? So, meron pa siyang ibang reading at different temperature. So, what I'll do is from too big, ilalagay ko siya ngayon dito sa solution. Okay? So, pagkalagay sa solution, let's watch. So, naging 1319. Okay, 1348. Okay, so, 1358. So, remember, this is at 25 degrees Celsius kasi. So, ngayon, it's not 25 degrees Celsius because it's already midnight. So, yeah. That's the reading. 1358, 1363 micro S per cm. So, approximately accurate talaga siya. Okay, that's the good thing with the sensor. Tapos ilagay ko ulit sa tubig. So, naging 83 micro S per cm. Actually, bababa pa yun kasi mag-mix pa man doon. So, naging 48 ulit. So, I guess that's all for the ano, accuracy ng calibration ng sensor. So, after calibrating and putting the correct codes, dapat ganun talaga siya. Okay, let's go now for the SMS commands. Okay, na testing ko siya kanina. No? So let's start first with the command help. Okay, so ano ginagawa ng help? Okay, hindi mas send. Okay, tumatama yung kamay ko. So ang help will actually query, magtatanong siya dito sa ating device kung ano-ano yung mga different commands na pwedeng gawin ng device. Okay, so meron ka daw check ball, register only, status, admin, at saka help. So remember, hindi ko gagawin yung register only kasi may load yung SIM card sa loob, yung SIM card ko. So ang mangyayari kasi nyo sa register only is magre-register yung ating SIM card. Pag tinext ko siya ng register only, gagawin ng ating device na to, i-register niya yung SIM card sa Astig Text 30. So, Hindi ko pwedeng gawin yun kasi nakaload yan siya. And then iba yung kanyang ano, uh, naka-easy easy, easy combo siya. So, check ball. Okay, I can try check ball. Okay. Uh, switch hands. Okay. So, I can try check ball. Okay. <coughs> check ball is since ang pinili ko para sa device is Astig Text 30 ang check ball is actually simple uh, tatanungin niya yung device kung actually i-control niya yung device na magtanong kung ilan pa yung Astig Text 30 na remaining 
So, actually dito, hindi siya registered sa Astig Text 30. Okay, matagal na siyang hindi registered kasi I'm using the one month server. So, salamat tapos ng Astig Text 30 mo. So, kasi hindi talaga siya registered sa Astig Text 30. Ang gamit ko kasi sa SIM card ko na yan is yung one month na unlimited texting. So, yeah. So, we have status. Okay. Um, ang nahihirapan ako dito sa SMS commands na maglagay ng command so I'll place status okay. so ang status is uh, nag text ako ng D no? na send ko yung D pero since yung D is not part ng command erase lang yan ng ating system para bang pagpasok ng D hindi, nag reply na siya no? pagpasok ng letter D erase niya lang yan pagpasok ng status mag reply siya Ang re-reply niya is actually yung readings. Okay. So, 48 micro S per cm daw, 32 cm, tapos 27.13 degree Celsius. So, ano pa yung last? Admin slash. So, admin slash, hindi ko na siya gagawin ngayon. But, you can just do this. Pwede naman siyang i-testing. So, ang admin slash is admin slash, let's say, 905 555-3255 sample ganyan so yung number na nilagay mo doon is magiging bagong admin so pag siya kasi yung admin siya yung pwedeng mag command sa device yung mga hindi admin pwede silang gumamit ng status pero hindi sila pwedeng mag register ng only, hindi sila pwedeng mag check ng balance, hindi sila pwedeng mag change ng admin yung admin lang yung pwedeng mag magpasa ng admin kumbaga So, ito, pwede kong ipassing, since ito yung admin ngayon, pwede kong ipassing admin sa ibang number. Okay. So, actually, since uh, this is tayo yung programmer, syempre, pwede tayong maglagay ng mga secret codes dito. Merong secret code na hindi ko nilagay sa help. Ang code na yun is uh, 31245 slash, di ba mayroon tayong admin slash? So, merong 31245 slash. So, yung 31245 slash, Kahit hindi ikaw yung admin, pwede mong nakawin yung pagiging admin. Let's say ako, no? let's say eh, pinasa ko yung pagiging admin sa iba, pwede kong nakawin yung pagiging admin ulit by putting the, word, the numbers 31245 slash yung number ko. Or kung sinong number yung gusto kong maging admin. So that's programmer's privilege which in which uh, pwede nyo namang palitan yon by just uploading another code. So, yung ginamit kong code is 31245. You can code 88888. Pwede nyo gawin yun. Kung gusto nyo pagtripan. So, so, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. So, by the way, this is the back boost converter. Uh, para malinaw.